hello friend welcome to the very first video about the Siemens TIA portal <clears throat> in this video we will discuss the overall view introduction about the TIA software that what the features involved in the software what you can use and how can you use the Siemens TI portal so i assume that you basically know about this this software siemens ti portal uh, i will give you very brief introductions and then i will explore its some features menu here in this first video of tia portal so siemens ti portal is the brand name of a siemens company uh, why it is called the tia totally integrated automation because this Siemens has integrated all your application required for the system in the single software named as Siemens TIA portal. Before this, Siemens used to release the separate software for PLC programming, separate software for your HMI design, and the separate software for your device configuration let me take the name as you might have heard about the step 7 semantic manager in different version 5.4 5.5 5.6 and 5.7 like that on this software you can only you could only configure the plc programming but if you want to do the hmi designing then you have to use the vincc flexible if you want to design the uh, your SCADA, you need the WinCC. If you want to configure your device uh, drive system, then you need Drive Essential and Drive Monitor and many other software for the drives. But in this software, Siemens has integrated all the things which you need in your drive system, in your control system to configure, to, to program. You can easily do that. More thing about is that uh, it is very easy uh, for the uh, due to integration of the software means that the uh, program used the tag used in the PLC you can directly drag and drop to design your HMI. We will learn these things later on as we'll go through in this video one by one. Okay, so if you open uh, the Semantic Manager, this window you will see here. This is actually called uh, called the <coughs> Uh, very uh, first window when we open this uh, uh, semantic uh, TI portal sorry semantic manager TI portal okay okay uh, you will see here there this is called the uh, overview uh, window and here if you see the start from start these are the different tabs which is disabled because uh, currently I don't have any project created in the TI portal okay so this button shows you uh, open existing project if you already have any project in ti portal and want to open it then you can click this button to browse your project and open in here in ti portal and create a new project let's say i don't have any uh, project or either i have or don't have but i want to create a new project then i will create this button create a new project and we will create the new project this is a migrate project this is very also important for the um, professionals who want to migrate their existing semantic manager project into a ti portal once i did in my industry that um, there was a project design on design for s7 400 on semantic manager but the company wa wants to upgrade their system from uh, not hardware i'm just talking about the software just they just want that this software or semantic manager should be upgraded to the ti portal then you can do that and i did it and we'll do some uh, testing here we will design uh, some a small project in semantic demand as semantic manager and then i will show you how can you migrate semantic manager project with existing all the hardware in your tia portal okay so this is also very important this is close window this is welcome to where you can see that first step start soft this is also very important to check that what software you have stored 
in your TIA portal so just if you click this one see here uh, this is totally integrated automation portal version 18 uh, keep in mind that Siemens has released I think uh, version 19 I think last one or two months back okay but I'm using uh, version 18 now the optional what optional software uh, with this one I have installed TI portal openness version 18 TI portal version control interface this is also version 18 okay this is optional software with this one Semantic manager step 7 professional version 18 and also step 7 safety version 18 this is when uh, cc professional version 18 this is just brief installation and uh, uh, introduction about the software which i what i have installed in my pc if you want to detail see that what is the other software with the version installed you can click here okay now this is the detailed information about that because uh, in this my pc i have also installed the semantic manager version 5.7 so because they are also from the siemens siemens actually showing me all the software of the siemens installed in my pc okay product is the automation license manager version is this s7 pct s7 pct version this this one plc simulator professional okay then uh, same this is also important to simulate the plc program semantic opc xml gateway pro safe for backupping your uh, hmi pro uh, project this is black privacy graph scl web to plc step 7 wincc runtime advanced and simulator step 7 professional 2021 version 5.7 TI administrator, TI portal project server, UMC status application, user management component, all the things which is installed in my PC. Okay. Uh, okay. Here you can see uh, further detail about the Siemens software components, the operating system. These are all the things the software you have installed in your PC. If you want to make the backup of these things that the I want to save the all the name and version of the software which is installed in my PC, then you can export these things from here okay the data will be exported and you can in csv file in desktop let's me give me the list of software okay it will be always csv but if you want to change you can change then okay save go to your uh, okay now <clears throat> uh, here is a list of this software which is exported i just double click it you can see that all the software information which you have installed in your PC is listed here so this is why important whenever you want to take the help from the expect uh, from the remote location uh, let's say you want to take some support from the Siemens uh, the Siemens asks you to please share the all the software which you are using so this is a good way to export your uh, stored software information and share with them if they think that okay the software version you are using it's okay to upgrade your project or uh, to tra trace out file uh, to find out any issues in your software this is a good way okay hope you understand these things now come to here i just close it here uh, okay uh, if you want this is actually the view which is called the portal view this is called the portal view uh, but if you want to there is another view which is called the project view from switching here you can go to project view it will be your project view when i will create all the information of the blocks and the programming language will be shown here and these are the different uh, file menu options from upload to plc download to make the simulation online uh, make configuration everything will be done here in the uh, pro uh, project view okay uh, and here from here this is a different tax you can see it will be shown when i will create the project but uh, just to make you aware about the environment of the siemens ti portal this is called the project view and if you want to go to portal view then just click here again you will be here on the portal view if you want to take any help you could go to uh, help menu and the user interface languages if you want to change the languages okay uh, if you want to update your siemens 
ti portal then you can check for the updates here because i am using the almost latest version as uh, uh, version 19 i think not available for uh, sale so far if i'm not wrong but let's say if you are using version 13 and 14 then you can check for update uh, the latest version from the library and anything about the ti portal you can uh, download directly from the this portal view it will give you to update this one this version this library or this blocks then you can update from here uh, okay i think this is uh, almost over about the overview of the simmons ti portal uh, automation the indi totally integrated automation so hope uh, next time i will create the uh, project and ladder logic and then will i will show you how you can create download in the plc and run the simulator all the time. So if you like the video if you like please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel uh, until next video take care and allah hafiz